giving back. For the last couple months, we have been looking at managing the resources that God has entrusted to us as we build a relationship with Him. This week's topic makes us reflect on our end goals and our legacy. Our goal through life is to build financial stability so we can provide a future for our children, so we can support the needs of a family, so we can enjoy life and not to be a burden when we get older. As we do that though, we may develop an unhealthy attachment to our possessions. Jesus asked the rich man who came to see him to give up everything and to follow him, but it was too difficult to give up what he owned. We are not necessarily all asked to give up our possessions, but the key here is, are we able to do it if God asks? What is our security, God or our possessions? It's an honest struggle dealing with this through life. So what would be a healthy mental state, attitude and expectation as we go through the stages of our life, and especially as we think about retirement and the last stretch of this journey? One important point that comes out of the study is that, well, we're not really meant to stop working. So this panacea that the day will come to just relax and have fun is not really healthy. A different capacity and different pace, but we should always strive to contribute and exercise our gift to do good. None of the things we accumulated here can be taken with us when our life journey ends, so it's responsible to plan what would happen with it, no matter how big or small our treasure is. In different parts of the world, things are handled a bit differently, but having a will or an estate is a responsible thing to do. How much of what you have built through life do you want to leave to the people around you and is there any portion that you would like to return to God and His ministry? As stewards and managers of God's blessings, we have a responsibility to be diligent and apply judgment to properly manage and distribute the distribution of what we have accumulated. And this is not just for when we are gone, not just for when we die, then things get distributed. The way we manage our goods testify about our relationship and engagement with God. Is there any good that we can do and contribute to while we are still alive? If there are things that can be done now, why postpone for an uncertain future? Some people live with an approach that by the time when their time comes, everything they had would have been put into a good use. Not only you get to experience the joy of the good done through you, but you also set a good example to be followed by those around you. <laughs> Talk about an important legacy. So what is the essence of all this that I can put in the length of one tweet? Hashtag lesson in one. Giving back. We build financial stability through life but do not attach to possessions. We are responsible to assure their good use for the people dependent on us, God's mission, and doing good that reflects the love of God. We are approaching the end of this journey, but we are not there yet. Join us again next week to look, to look at managing in tough times. <laughs>